cost me a bundle, Brian. You ruined my business. Your business? Is that what you call it? How about calling it your scam? So you can't scam people out of their retirement funds. I wasn't gonna let you do that. I want my money, Brian. I don't have your money. It's their money. I don't owe you anything. but she knows nothing about playing cards. <laughs> she and her lover boy, Brian, haven't a clue how much she owes me. But they'll find out soon enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now they both owe me. And these markers remind you that you owe me money, Brian. Oh, buddy, you'll come around soon. Real soon. Who are you staring at, Liz? New guy. Just checked into 117. Oh. Why? Someone from Brian's past. And Brian wants him out of here. Yeah? What's Brian got against this guy? Oh, he worked for him one time. Guy ran an illegal pension fund, scamming retirees out of their money. Brian exposed the scam. Can't imagine the guy was too thrilled about that. No. You want me to toss him out on his keister? No, Doc. I, I have another idea, but I need your help. Take this pass key. Go take all of his stuff out of 117 and bring it down here. Thanks, Doc. Excuse me. I have some bad news. There's a problem with your room. Problem? Yes, this is an old place. And the pipes burst. Big septic backup. You can't possibly go back in your room. Unfortunately, I don't have any other room, so you'll have to leave. I'm really sorry. How can you explain your birth? Why did you kill your husband? What is your plan for? What are Whitney and Chad doing there together? I'm so sorry you had to see this alone. Your sister draped all over the man that you love. There's got to be a good explanation. Well, yeah, um, there is. Charity. Whitney stole your boyfriend, Simone. Right out from under your nose. Mrs. Crane, can we get a comment? Get a statement from me. Something, something for the public. Teresa is going to die. Our plan is working. Adios, Teresita. Mm -hmm. My baby. My baby's going to die. You've got, you got it. justice! My sister has been railroaded! I'll have order in this courtroom. Well, how can there be order when there's no justice? I understand what you're going through, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. But you're instructed to control your temper or leave this courtroom immediately. I agree with Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. You know, rushing sentencing the way you have makes a mockery of this court, and I won't allow it. You won't. <laughs> no, Your Your Honor, I demand that you set aside your sentence, recuse yourself from this case, and let another judge hear it. My decision has been rendered, and it's irrevocable. Nothing is irrevocable. Sit down, Counselor. No, I'll have it overturned. Sit down, or I'll find you in contempt. The sentence stands. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald Crane will be executed by lethal injection directly after her baby is born. <laughs> I would hold the hand of the one who could leave no place there And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet
Hey. I'm really, really sorry. This moment I tried to tell you before, but you just wouldn't listen to me. I knew you couldn't trust Whitney, and she was after Chad. No! No, you're wrong, Keg. My sister is not after Chad. Okay. <laughs> what do you call that? There has to be a good explanation for that. Sweetie. Whitney wants Chad. I mean, that is the explanation. No. <laughs> it's Teresa. Whitney is Teresa's best friend, and, and she's just been sentenced to death. Whitney is upset, and Chad is just comforting her like a friend would do. <laughs> I'd say, um, a little too close for comfort. I mean, look at them. They're all over each other. All right, let's go. Okay. You guys can get the thing reversed. You'll see. Your Honor, somehow you have concluded Teresa's waived her rights to be treated fairly. Well, allow me to disabuse you of that notion. I don't know what you're so exercised about, Counselor. You do recall that Mrs. Crane confessed to murdering her husband and asked the court to move swiftly in disposing of the matter, which is precisely what I did. No one has cause for complaint, except the dead man, perhaps. Well, I fail to see the humor in this, Your Honor. I was merely making an observation. You've merely turned this into a courtroom farce. And you, sir, have been warned. Well, this is an utter and total miscarriage of justice. One more word and you'll spend the night in jail. He means it, Ethan. I don't care. Don't be foolish. You can't help Teresa if you're in jail. Look, I know you're upset, but jeopardizing your career isn't going to help anything. You're right. I need to be available to help Teresa, but I just can't believe this is happening. You know, I thought for sure that we could free Teresa before an execution date was set. Teresa. Teresa, please. Time is running out. I know that you didn't kill Julian. How are you protecting me? When did this happen? I was just in my room a little while ago and everything was fine. It just happened. One of the maids just reported it to me. Pipes burst. I'm having your bags packed and brought up here. That way none of your things will be ruined. And I feel so badly about the inconvenience that last night will be on the house. Uh, of course, there won't be a charge for breakfast this morning. I'll even throw in a bag lunch for the plane later. A plane? Yes, maybe you can come back and visit our island some other time. When it's less crowded. Yeah, but I wasn't planning on leaving yet. Well, I wish you didn't really have to go, but I call the other hotels on the island and they're all booked up too. Not even a bed and breakfast. So you see, you really will have to leave. I'll see you get a taxi to the airport. How do you... How do you stay in business pulling this? Pulling? What's really going on, Liz? May I call you Liz? What are you up to? Nothing. I just told you. I know what you told me, and it's a crock. I want the truth. Look, I want you out of here. Why? With Brian. <sighs> Diana, I'm really sorry. I had no idea it was you. Boy, well, am I glad to hear you say that. Oh, are you all right? Uh, aside from my, my heart being in my throat, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I saw the knife and I just... <laughs> Which I need. For what? <laughs> this. I could use a break. Yeah, and you're right, as always. Open up. <laughs> Thanks. And really, I, I apologize. I, I didn't mean to jump you like that. Who did you think I was? Nobody. Come on, Brian. Who could you possibly hate that much? You thought I was that guy from the cafe earlier. The one that I was waiting on, who, who thought that he recognized me. Yeah. Who is he? He's 
my past. The man in the cafe was the one that you used to work for, isn't he? The one who ran all those pension scams. Nick. I'm so sorry. Why are you sorry? I'm the one that hooked up with the idiot. I know how much you want to put it all behind you. I thought I was home free. But you can't run away from your past forever. What does he want from you? He says he doesn't want anything. He said he's here to collect a debt from someone else on the island. Well, I guess we should just take him at his word and believe that he's not here for you. Well, the trouble is, that Nick's word doesn't mean very much. Which is exactly the reason that I want you to stay away from him. He says that he recognizes me. I mean, maybe he can give me answers about my past. You want to know who you are and understand that, Diana. But Nick doesn't have the answers. He wouldn't tell you the truth of his life dependent on it. Well, what if he's telling the truth this time? He's not. Nick uses people, and then he gets rid of them. I've seen it happen more times than I can even count. That's why I had to get out of it before he killed me. And that's the reason that I don't want you anywhere around that stuff, okay? What was it like? That whole world. <sighs> you don't want to know. Hey, I asked, didn't I? Tell me, please. At first, it was like I hit gold, the mother load, anything you could possibly want, anything money could buy. But then you start to wise up and you realize that there's a price to pay for all that fun. A heavy price. You know, I may not be a PhD, but I am a student of human behavior and I can see that you're crazy about Brian. Well, I'm a student of human behavior too. And I can see you're a total bastard. I wonder why Brian likes you. Brian loves Diana. Now it all makes sense. You know what? You may not realize this, but I can end up being your best friend. You have nuts. Brian dumped you for Diana, didn't he? He did not dump me. We had no commitment. That's my Brian. Beautiful woman in every port. Sometimes too. You know, shut up and leave. Truth hurts, doesn't it? I am Brian's friend. And I am not going to let you do anything to hurt him. Didn't you hear me? Don't you get it? I can end up being your best friend by doing you a big favor. Giving Brian back to you. You know what? Just don't watch anymore. Forget about it. Ignore it. It's obvious that Chad is not a good person, Simone. He's like, telling you he loves you and then going after your sister? You know, I gotta get down to that court. <laughs> what good would that do? Come on. What's it gonna hurt? Let her go. Let her confront her two-timing sister. No. I cannot believe that you just did that. Why, Kay? I told you I was going to bring pain to everybody in Harmony, including the Russells. Besides, I'm just speaking the truth. When Chad told Simone he loved her, he thought he was talking to Whitney. Yeah, well, Simone doesn't know that. Poor, deluded soul. She thinks she's the one that Chad loves. It's not her fault. No, but I want to take advantage of it. Watch the fallout. All that pain. I can't wait. Teresa. You need to listen to me. And you need to listen to me good, okay? And you need to stop this right now. You need to tell everyone who really killed Julian. I already have, Louise. No, Teresa. I did it. This is not a game. Don't you think I know that? Teresa, whoever you're covering for is it worth it. So this is a matter of life and death. This judge isn't kidding. Unless you change your story and you change it fast, you're going to be executed. Teresa, what do you think that's going to do to my mom and to everyone else who I loves won't you? be executed! Teresa, what makes you say that? Barring a miracle, you are going to be executed. No, Luis. Teresa, I 
And after your baby is born, they're going to stick a needle in your arm. And it's going to shut down all your vital organs for good. Do you understand that? You're not going to have a life with this baby. You're not going to grow up with it or with anyone else for that matter because you're going to be dead. Teresa, please tell the truth. You must. Teresa, for God's sake, for all of our sakes, please tell us who really killed Julian. I'll tell you the truth. I'll tell you the whole story. Oh, God. Oh, my God. She's going to tell everyone that Ethan killed you, man. So what was it like back then? When you were working with Nick? Well, like I said, it was let the good times roll. There was a party every night. It was intoxicating. The lifestyle, the money, the wine. The women. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, just about every night I had a different woman on each arm. It was like Pleasure Island. Pure, unadulterated 18 karat hedonism. But then I started to wise up. Well, things got crazy. The, the lights got too bright. The, the people, they got too greedy. The music, it got too loud. All those people care about, that's all they care about is just money. And when I realized that and realized that they were living the life of Riley off of those poor innocent people's pension funds, those people's life savings, I quit. I got out. What they have to say? All those people you were hanging out with. As soon as the money stopped coming in, they dropped me like a hot rock. My so-called girlfriends, so-called business associates, they just disappeared. So do you ever miss it? No. I mean, the one thing that I didn't realize back then is how lucky I was. Because if I hadn't got out of it, I wouldn't have ended up here. And I would have never met you. And that would have been the real tragedy in my life. You are my soulmate, Diana. Forever. I don't know what you're talking about. Your mouth keeps saying you're not interested in Brian, but your eyes keep telling me something totally different. You love him. No. Oh, yes. And you want that man for yourself, don't you? But Diana's got his undivided attention right now. Of course she does. He loves her. Yeah, but Brian used to care about you before Diana came along and stole him away, didn't he? I mean, not that I don't understand her allure, shall we say. I mean, that woman is really put together. There's something very intoxicating about Diana. Almost addictive. And Brian's hooked. Look, I already said that he loves her, so I don't know what the point of this is. Point is, Liz, I can change all that. I can take her away. <coughs> you. Yeah, me. I can take her away from this island. Diana would not leave. She loves Brian too much, and he would never let her go. We'll see. But if I can do it, if I can find a way to take her away, Brian would be left all alone, just pining away, just waiting for someone to comfort him, to love him. You think you could be that person, Liz? It'd be sweet if you could, wouldn't it? It's so sweet. This is all your fault, Rebecca. You doctored that tape to make it look like Ethan killed Julian, but he didn't. And now if you don't do something quick, it's all going to blow up in our faces. 
yes, Teresa. Tell them who did it. Let the person who did this pay for the crime. Let the person who did this die a horrible, grisly death. Oh, yes, Teresa. Save yourself. Make, make the guilty party pay for their crimes. Why, Teresa? Why did you turn me in? I could have got off on an appeal. We could have been together for the rest of our lives. Now we're never going to be together. I'll be dead. No! No! Hold it! No! Come away! No! It's too late! No! Don't be sad. No! We were going to be together! I know you love him, but Ethan was ready to let you die for a crime that he committed! No! You are better off without him! No, I am not! Please, I love him! Let the drip begin. Coming out. No! 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 I can't let him die! I love him! But, um, what are you doing here with Chad? I, I saw you two together on TV. I mean, if Mom and Dad saw you, they're going to be furious. No, Simone. They won't. Teresa, please. Just tell the truth. For everyone's sake. do the right thing. I'm, I'm not going to change my story. I can't. Well, no one would believe me if I, if, if I did. There's no point in lying. I'm guilty. I did it. According to plan, Davis, no glitches. Not a one, Alistair. The judge did exactly as you told him. Teresa's going to be executed right after the baby's born. Excellent. Now I know what color to buy for the baby's christening. Black. I love you so much, Brian. Whenever you say that, my heart stops. Yeah. What do I have to do to get it started again? Yep. That did it. <laughs> and I love you. You are everything that I've ever wanted in life. And more. I'm so blessed to have you. I'm so glad you got away from Nick when you did. Yeah. He's not a nice guy. That whole lifestyle, it, it, it's corrupt and it is dangerous. She sure seems convinced to know me from someplace. He'll say anything, Diana. What if he did? I and mean, what if I was a part of that lifestyle, the corruption, the, the danger? You? I mean, he says that he knows me from someplace, like Paris or, or London, with diamonds around my neck. 
Diana. What if I was one of those people that you're talking about? Someone that's just interested in money and what it can buy? Hey, you could never be like that. God, what if it's who I really am? Your mind's working overtime, but you're not saying anything. You're the perfect con man, Nick. I am. You tell people what they want to hear, and then you try to lure them in. But it's not going to work with Diana. She is not going to fall for that smooth talking you hand out. You never know about people, Liz. Everyone has their price. Not Diana. Why? Because she has amnesia and she wouldn't know what her price is? Wouldn't you have any frame of reference? No, because she just wouldn't be interested in you, that's all. Oh, really? Well, that makes her even more interesting. Doesn't know who she is or, or where she's from. How often does one of those come along? What do you mean? She's a fascinating woman, Liz. And I love being fascinated. Yeah. There's something about Diana I like. Something I want. <laughs> Dream on, Nick. She would never be attracted to you. As a matter of fact, she would never even give you a second glance. Hey. Don't you ever laugh at me. I'm a man who gets what he wants. And I want Diana. your damn hand off of me. Don't you ever lay a hand on me again. You got that. Sorry, Liz. Lost it there for a moment. I've got temper issues. I don't care what you got. Don't you ever so much as lay a finger on me. <sighs> you know, I love a woman who will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. Especially if that woman's beautiful. And you sure are that. Skip the sweet talk, Nick. Oh, you really are something special, Liz. And you deserve the best. And maybe you'll get that with Brian. If I'm successful. With Diana? Never. Don't be too sure, Liz. I can be very persuasive, you know. Ask Brian. You know, I used to think I needed Brian to get what I wanted. But now I'm starting to think long term. And Brian doesn't even figure into my plans anymore. Someone else does. Diana. That's right. I think Diana's going to be much more valuable. A real treasure. What if I was some kind of party girl from London or Paris? Diana, you're nothing but sweet and good. How else could Nick remember me unless I ran with his tawdry crowd? Come on. No, really. I mean, I could have been some awful woman. Diana, don't do this to yourself. None of what you're saying is true. Well, how do you know that? Because I know you. And everything that you're using to describe yourself, that's just not you. You can't be sure of that. I am more sure of that than anything else in this world. Look. You have allowed me to get close to you. So close that I can see into your soul. And it is beautiful. You are nothing like any of those women that I used to hang around with. They were in it for one thing. Penthouses on Easy Street. I told you I had this feeling that, that I had money. Yeah, honest money. You said you came for money. It's not the kind of money that Nick has. That dirty money that he just takes from innocent people. I want to believe that. Well, I can assure you that's true. Well, I need to know now more than ever who I am. Nick remembers me, and he is going to tell me everything that he knows so that I can finally find out who... Diana, no, I said. What are you talking about, Chad? My parents won't be upset. If they saw what I saw on TV, Whitney hugged up all over you, they're going to be furious. They still hold you responsible for drugging Whitney. No, someone, that's not true. Your parents know that it wasn't me. 
How do they know? Well, one of your mom's patients confessed to doing it. Oh. Well, that's good, but why would anyone want to put drugs in my sister's drink? Well, I don't know, but your mom thinks that they were trying to get back at her for something. Oh, that's weird. <gasps> but that's great. My mom and dad know that you didn't do it. I knew it all along, of course. <laughs> and I'm the only one who trusted you. I'm the only one who believed in you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you tell me that you love me, isn't it? It's because I was the only one who always believed in you. Well, yeah, yeah. You, you always did believe in me. <laughs> this is perfect, Chad. I mean, now that my parents are mad at you, we can start going out. Hey, you know what, Simone? <laughs> shh, shh, we gotta talk about that, okay? Okay. Right now. Okay, sure, sure. You know what, Chad? Um, can I just talk to you for one quick second first? For two seconds. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. All right. Hey, look, Simone, why don't you just wait over there and we'll be right back, oh, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, we're wrong. Chad loves me, and we're about to start dating. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I don't think now's a good time to tell her. She's got to know now. Her heart is going to be broken. Everyone in here is going to see her. Everybody's going to know. All right, you know what? Then I'll take her outside. All right, no one here has to know. I don't want to hurt her either, all right? But this whole misunderstanding has gone on way too long. Way too long. No. Someone has to know the truth. Okay, maybe we can just now, after, please. with me, she's got to know now. Please, let's go outside, okay? Okay. Cody, it's all gonna hit the fan. Just can't wait to see how far it splatters. You will escort Mrs. Crane back to her cell. Court adjourned. All rise. Please, just give us a second. Tevis, you gotta do something here. You can get this overturned. I wish I could, Ethan. It's just not within my power. Teresa insisted on rushing this through the court, and as her attorney, you should know as well as I do that we were compelled to oblige her. We can't just turn around to the judge now and say, oh, sorry, we'd like to change. All right, then you're fired. All right, I, I will be defending Teresa. I'm taking over this case, and I'm going to file an appeal immediately. Ethan. Teresa, don't worry, all right? I'm going to get this thrown out somehow. I'm going to take care of you. Diana, have you heard a word I said? Nick is nobody you want to mess with. He's a liar, a cheat, and he fights dirty. Yeah, but how else am I going to find out about my past? I don't know. But all he's going to do is try to scam you. You can't believe anything he says, and I mean anything. It's just so hard not knowing who I am or where I come from. I'm sure it is. But stay away from him, okay? We're both going to stay away from him. How are we going to do that while he's still here on the island? Because he's here to collect a gambling debt from someone else. It has nothing to do with us. We don't have anything to do with that score. There you are. I'm looking all over for you guys. I'm starting to think you're avoiding me. We are. Ouch, that really hurts my feelings. You know, but in my line of business, you can't afford to wear your heart on your sleeve, Brian. We don't give a damn about your business, Nick. You should. You know, in fact, I insist. What are you talking about? The reason why I came here. To collect a gambling debt. That's what you told me. That's why. <laughs> well, it wasn't me. Because I know better than to lie down with dogs like you. Did I say it was you, Brian? Uh-uh. No. I'm talking about your lady friend here. Diana. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Like she would ever gamble in one of your clubs. Oh, but she did, Brian. I'm here to collect.
Any moment now, Teresa will go into labor. And once that child is born, then it's hasta la vista, tacosita. <laughs> You're not going to hurt my friend. You. Demon from hell? That's what I am, Kay. A demon that you created. Pain and suffering are my stock in trade, but I do think that Simone will appreciate my telling the truth. Once she finds out that Whitney betrayed her, stole the man she loves right out from under her, she'll feel justified in anything she does. She might even be mad enough for murder. Murder? Sister side. <gasps> is going to be so great, Jay. We're going to be able to do everything together. Go everywhere. This is Come so on. great. Shh. Listen to me, please. Okay. okay. There's something you need to know first. Okay. What? Uh, um, this is something I should have talked to you about a long, long time ago. But the truth is... I don't... Oh. What's wrong? What is it? Oh, Mama, I think I'm in labor. 